Hey everyone, so I'm doing an update again. Uh, this week is going to be very slow as far as the actual time lapse episodes and stuff like that due to uh, uh, Disturbed Doll's injury. She's uh, not going to be able to edit the videos at the same pace that she uh, usually was uh, late last year. So, or recently. So, um, I'm probably going to do just very silly, like, updates. Silly. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good word. I, I'll just, I'll just run with silly. Um, with that said, today, tonight, is the first time I have actually been able to play the level from start to finish. With everything in place. And I have been doing a lot of tweaking. Um, I have not been recording. I have not been recording my time actually tweaking the level um, today and yet last night, simply because it's just like a, a lot of really small changes that I could probably go over a fairly brief in a fairly brief amount of time. But I'm gonna wait until things get a little bit further along as far as the actual videos that show me working on everything in it and getting up to this point is concerned. So the level right now is in a state that can actually be play tested by other people. And that's pretty huge. Uh, I just made a bunch of tweaks and changes. I'm probably going to take my focus off of this level for a tiny bit so that I can uh, I can work on some Hellbreaker stuff. But yeah, as it stands right now, the level can be played by uh, anybody. It, the, the difficulty is locked to ultra violence. I don't have the easier difficulties. And right now, I'm more concerned with ultra violence anyway, because ultra violence is where balance is the most important and all of that, yada yada. I've actually. So, I've actually been trying to, I don't know, just a. Uh, find any little things that I can go through and tweak and fix and uh, I, I actually feel a little bit like this starting sequence should be a little bit different I might I might modify this a little bit but this is all that this is all easy things like because the, the the backbone of the entire map is now in place everything is here um, so what I might actually do with this sequence is have some enemies that are facing away kind of use that trope when you first enter an area and like maybe there's some like dead marines you know dead players or whatever uh, and they're just all kind of like facing away there's already a dead player here there's a lot of dead players in fact this level is just dead bodies everywhere um and in GZ Doom and Brutal Doom, Archfiles do resurrect the decoration dead bodies. So this sequence right here became very evil very quickly, um, which was originally not supposed to be a combat heavy heavy area. Uh, now having these invisible Archviles kind of fucks with that. And that's a uh, that's actually something that'll be pretty interesting to talk about is how many of these things panned out in the ways that I originally planned, and how many things cropped up that make sense that I just I can't really say I planned from the start. One of the things is is that this is this uh, this level is called Redemption of the Slain, right? Well, there's a hell of a lot of dead bodies, and at the very end, a lot of them come back to life. So, it's uh, kind of symbolic, I guess. It is redemption of the slain, because they're pissed at you, and they're coming back. And at the end of the map, I almost think that there should be a song change when you grab the red key. Because there are arch files, invisible arch files, in places. And, uh, yeah. Uh, I actually toned it down... I toned down the, this sequence here overall, but I have more steady combat 
instead of, you know, it's like a, a billion barons, it's a little bit more evened out between more monsters. And also, too, I separated this sequence so that it's not just one thing where, like, once you once you defeat these barons, that's when this door opens, before the barons would push you into this area. And that was one of the things that, eh, it just didn't work. It just didn't work. I What I had originally envisioned was pushing the player back. But it doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel good. It feels terrible, actually. I think I think as a player, I just I don't like being pushed into weird places, and I I don't like fighting so many barons that it takes like five minutes to just kill them all because I have plenty of rockets and they're not super challenging. So I yeah I just uh, I evened this sequence out quite a bit. Uh, these imps that were up here were annoying, so I got rid of them. They're actually I just put them down here so that they're not taking. You know, there aren't these, like, annoying imps hanging out while you're trying to fight barons, shooting you with fireballs. Uh, support for the new Brutal Doom is, uh, I mean, kind of there. Uh, I, like, I give you a second plasma rifle if you find the secret here, which is a little bit cooler than just getting a soul sphere. Uh, you can have two plasma rifles in Brutal Doom 20B. It's pretty interesting, uh, except at the moment the amount of ammo that you get to, to do that with is not even close to sufficient. You can't even kill a pinky demon before you run out of bullets, so I might actually give you a little bit, not, not an arachnatron, give you a little bit of ammunition Yeah, I'd step that up just a tiny bit. Uh, yeah, like, so any playtesting that goes right now will have to be, like, unofficial. This is a pre, this is a beta version of the level. And my biggest concern will be to get footage of people playing the level so that I can make changes based on how they play the level. Like, I'm gonna look through and I might actually even do like a reaction video, uh, just, you know, pausing it and, and saying, ah, I didn't want that to happen, or, or, okay, this, this worked out a little bit better, or, you know what I mean? Like, just give my thoughts on how, how the player's experiences should be and what my expectations are and stuff like that. That should be pretty interesting, actually. Uh, I don't know if too many devs actually do that. Uh, not on YouTube, anyway. Maybe. So, there really isn't much else to cover at this point in time. The actual episodes of me working on this will start next week. They're, they're slowly getting uploaded, but it, it's, it's going to be like a marathon of just, like, fairly long episodes of just me, like, working my ass off on this. Uh, I'm actually thinking of the secret as well. So everything that's that's left, one of the suggestions for the secret would would be to have a sequential set of switches that, like, when you flip flip the switch, it closes, and then like a message appears on the screen, and it's like four more to go, and then somewhere later in the map. If you look in some weird obscure corner, you'll see another switch, and you flip that, and there's like three more to go, and it just keeps going, like until, like, I don't know. Honestly, with this puzzle sequence right here, using the bookshelf, it's kind of hard to to describe this sequence without actually seeing it in, in action. But basically, you flip the switch, and it and and it faces a different direction. Uh yeah, like I made a bunch of changes to this to tweak things as well, but <laughs> it's it's going to be interesting to see how players figure this one out because I do put a lot of clues, but I don't know if those clues are going to be enough. So we'll have to see. 
Um, probably not going to do any play any more spoilers at this point in time because whoever's whoever's going to play test this is probably watching this, and I don't. And maybe it's a good thing that the uh, the dev the actual dev videos are coming up are going to come out after the play testing, so people don't know how to do all of this stuff. Even though I'm looking at the damn thing in the editor and I'm already talking about most of it. I am actually thinking of having a red key door here for a secret area in this location here that kind of encourages you to re even remember that there's a door here and then have like a cool vista with some kind of a of a secret going on in this spot and it could be tied into the overall grand secret which this right here will be tied into the grand secret as well. This, so there's going to be there's going to be a fairly crazy uh, sequential secret thing, and then I'll have a the castle was here kind of a thing at, at that point. So you know, so it's it's familiar. <laughs> the 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 castle was here is really a call out to. Uh, level Lord, you should not be here. Um, level Lord being a level designer that I worked with way back when I worked at Ritual Entertainment, and he would place those kinds of things. And to me, that was symbolic of doing the same thing is symbolic of that old school style of design where the level designer was this person that you know had more this sort of prestige it just it's not true anymore it's like in modern level design the level designer doesn't have that same prestige anymore there there are no more cliffy bees there are no more uh john romero's there are no more like uh level lords in a way i'm kind of sad about that but <laughs> i don't know old times will be old times but that's kind of what that was. It it was meant to feel that way. It's meant it's meant to 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 have been that way. I, I know I've had a couple of people, you know, it's like, man, why did you plaster your name on the level? Like, nah, nah, it's not it's not really what I was trying to do. I was, but oh well. Anyway, uh, that's really all there is left to talk about. I'm good. It's 12 minutes. That's a really long time. I probably said a bunch of silly shit like a silly video update and all that <laughs> looking for feedback I will actually have a download link and everything like that but I'm, it's gonna take a little bit of organizing so it'll be a couple of days before I set all that up and like I said I gotta I gotta take focus off of this for a little bit which is actually gonna probably be a good thing because once I take my focus off of this it'll simmer and I'll think about things, and I'll be like, "Oh, you know, there's that one thing I can I can fix this one little thing over here." This is that last part where everything comes together. This is that last part where the polish really, where the rubber meets the road, and that pop, that level of polish has a chance to really shine. So, like, I'm probably going to be just leaving this map on this on the the back burner, coming back to it for like small changes here and there. And then if anyone actually wants to play it, if you're familiar with getting the latest Brutal Doom and all that stuff, and you can make it really easy for me to just give you the level file, I'm totally cool with that. Um, I'm not worried about anybody stealing it because I kind of have proof that I made it. Um, it would be pretty interesting that uh, <laughs> if that was to ever happen. Um, <laughs> I guess that's it. All right. Uh, Hope you enjoyed. Take care. See you soon. And let me know if you're interested in a playtest. If you can playtest, one thing that I would really like, uh, I'm going to put priority for playtesting for anyone who can record themselves playing. So, like, if you can upload a, a YouTube video of yourself playing the level, even if it's a private video, even if you don't have a crazy YouTube channel, anything like that, that kind of stuff, that's, that's, that's going to be really good. That's going to be really good for me to. To, to really gauge and and find problems and and see what needs to change and see what kind of tweaks I need to make that right there would be invaluable so 
All right. Uh, hope you enjoyed. Take care and stay tuned for more.